engineers can help people live better lives. This is the most visible in places that don't have access to basic needs. In Dream Big, humanitarian engineers worked with local communities in Haiti to build a bridge that connects a remote village to schools and jobs. Thousands of miles away in Peru, a nonprofit organization called Engineers Without Borders USA has college students and professional mentors creating an entire water system from scratch. But how did a bunch of college kids end up in the rugged Peruvian mountains? It all started with the local community requesting assistance from Engineers Without Borders USA's headquarters and being partnered with the EWB USA Princeton University chapter in Princeton, New Jersey. So our team came to Lapita Haya um, in 2011 and what we found there was basically a community that was drinking out of a polluted irrigation canal. We were approached by this community and asked to help basically build a water system that would enable this community to have access to clean drinking water. On campus, the engineering students needed to find the most efficient solution to this problem. Engineers Without Borders USA establishes long-term partnerships with communities to address their identified needs. The students worked alongside the community members to approach their challenges and came up with a design solution for a gravity-fed water system. Working with a professional mentor, the students designed every component of the proposed system and figured out the best materials to use. They also designed the implementation strategy and all of the travel logistics to navigate the pipeline through the rugged and remote terrain. Engineers Without Borders USA mentors oversee the overall design to ensure that projects are safe and sustainable. Working with professional mentors, it's a really unique opportunity to get hands-on design experience to be able to discuss and collaborate on these projects. You know, whenever there's a technical question that comes up where they're not sure of the answer or the way to go, they'll come to me and ask for suggestions and options. But it ultimately is their project, and uh, it's great to see them work together, learn, and become leaders and manage very, very complex systems. Once the team arrived in Peru, they worked with the local community to transport and install the gravity-fed pipeline. I think to say that these projects are work intensive is an understatement. You go from spending an entire year here in Princeton thinking about carefully about the design, about how you want to implement it, and then you get down to, to Peru and you have a month to build an entire water system and get as much done as you can. The success of the project depended on collaborating and working hand in hand with the residents of La Pitahaya. To me, working with the community in Peru is one of the most amazing parts about being in Engineers Without Borders and about doing this type of work. The work ethic and the enthusiasm that the community has for the project, and I have learned a lot from them. And to me, this community feels like a second home that I have now in Peru. After a month of hard work, it was time to see if their efforts and engineering designs paid off. I remember we went up to the source and we opened the valve in the system and then we all ran back down to the reservoir tank to sit there and wait to see if water would actually come through the system. And then all of a sudden you hear this rush of water just start pouring into the tank. Um, and pure tears of just happiness. We were all hugging each other and cheering. The project not only changed the lives of the residents in Peru, but the students were also transformed through their humanitarian work. You know, if somebody had told me coming into Princeton, you're gonna go to Peru and you're gonna build a water pipeline that's going to transform the lives of a community down there. I would have told you that that can't possibly happen. I'm only a freshman, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. But seeing this work year after year, how people go from being timid freshmen who, who aren't quite sure of themselves to being confident, mature individuals who can not only design a water pipeline, but manage an entire engineering project from start to finish. It's something that's incredible to me. Humanitarian engineering projects change lives. Engineers help communities thrive through sharing knowledge, expertise, and hard work. This is what engineers do. They make the world a better place. <laughs>